Good. We're going to take it nice and easy on this warm up, and then we're just going to dive in. Good heel to hip. Make it a little bit harder. 
We have 10 seconds. So I'm keeping it way up above my head as I sit up and sit down. Beautiful. All right, flipping it on over. Put that pillow down right in front of you. All right? If you are frustrated about anything in life, you get to let it out here. So it's a plank. We bring it around.
Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Last time in this plank. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. Bring it around. Get it. We go in five, 
four, three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, if you're rolling on your toes, get high. You're only taking that modification if you have a hip, knee, ankle, back injury. Otherwise, you don't need that. Come on. For five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Right leg is going back. Whew. We go in eight seconds. We go on three, we go on two, we go on one, let's go. Back, front, breathe. Good job. You've got 10 seconds to go here in those narrow squats. And good. Narrow squats. They're coming in 10 seconds. Feet are one to two inches apart. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep going. You got this. Roll onto the toes if you need to. But don't stop. Awesome. 
All right, 15 seconds to roll back over. Exchange from hands to feet. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Crunch it up each time.
for my, so I turn out, turning my palms out for my push-ups. It is going to target a different part of your chest and shoulders. All right? So mine are literally pointing, not all the way backwards, but they are in reverse. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. You're gonna get a forearm stretch as well. A little more into your upper back. Abs are engaged. Pull the belly in. Breathe out every time you push up. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Slipping around. Here we go. So, palms are going to be facing towards my feet. Fingertips towards my feet. My goal is going to be to lower down and press all the way up. So it's not a partial press up, it's not sorted down. I'm going as low as I can, pressing all the way up, getting my triceps in three, in two, in one, let's go. If you do this correctly, you'll feel your triceps working. If you don't feel your triceps, you're welcome to use a chair, or a bench, or a couch if you have one close by and you wave your lips. But I can feel my working. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, shake it out, shake it out. All right. Last one. You are going to hold a plank in a star position for 30 seconds. That means opening our arms and our legs as wide as we can. Here we go. This one, unfortunately, you have to do on your toes. So, three, two, one, let's go. Really as wide as you can. Oh, my hands are slipping a little bit. It's making it hard. Stay strong, pull that belly in. Squeeze those chest. Keep your arms strong for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Whew. Externally rotated push ups. Knees or toes. Do mine for my knees. You do yours from wherever you want. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Get as low as you can. We're halfway there. Good job. For three, two, one. Awesome. Triceps. We go in 10 seconds. Remember, fingertips pointing towards you. Try to get your elbows as close to the mat as you can. Three, two, one, let's go. Full extension, all the way at the top, meaning my arms go all the way straight. Breathing out every time I push up. Trying to keep those elbows going straight back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Start like. Oh, I'm gonna take my shoe. That's all right. We'll get through it. Three and two and one. Let's go. Nice and wide. Wide, wide. 
and wide. So you're really making your abs work, your chest work, your inner thighs work, your back. It's all working together. Maybe a little hips in there. We've got eight seconds. Pull that belly in. In and up, in and up, in and up. For three, two, one. Rest. You have one more. Just one. That's it. One more round. We move into the stretch. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Externally rotating push ups. Nice. I know you guys have amazing form at home. You're halfway there. This is your last set of push ups today. Getting a little stronger with each push. We have five seconds. Three, two, one. Good triceps. Again, if you can't quite get the hang of this one, then you want to do regular dips for your triceps. You can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drop it down and up. Good. Got it. 15 seconds. Oof, my arms are on fire. 10 seconds. And good. Last start back. All right. Here we go. Four. Three, two, one, let's go. Wide, wide, wide. Maybe try to be a little wider than you have on your previous planks. Maybe try to pull your belly in a little more. Maybe try to keep your head in better alignment. You're already halfway there. For five, four, three, Two, one. Good job. You finished our strength portion of today's class. Now you get the reward of the stretch. We're going to start in child's pose. So I like to spread my feet wider than my mat with my knees out to the edge of my mat. Drop my feet down on my booty down between my feet and relax my head down. Now, if that's not accessible to you, you have a pillow, right? So use that pillow to give yourself a little prop of where you can put your head. We're gonna hang up here for four long breaths. Two more long breaths. Last one. Awesome. Without moving your lower body, I want you to try to walk your hands a little bit further forward. So now you're feeling a stretch through the lats. Four deep breaths here. Filling up the rib cage, rib cage with each breath. One more big breath. Awesome. Walk those hands over to the right. So now, you're getting more of a stretch through the left side body, and you're welcome to even take your right hand to your left wrist and give it a little tug. And think about shifting your left hip back in a way. Again, four long, deep breaths.
One more. And same thing on the other side. Walk it over. And really drop that right hip booty back. Really stretch that right arm out. Think about your breathing. Allowing the body to relax. Do one more big breath. Awesome. So, from there, I'm gonna have you come down onto your belly. Into your belly belly. Now, you're gonna put your arms up to the side like you're forming the letter T with your body. We're gonna take our right heel and we're gonna think about letting it Drop over to the other side. So our right hip is coming up, we're rolling onto our left hip, but we're keeping both hands touching the ground. This is called scorpion. Good. You should feel some rotation in the back. You might feel the upper back opening a little bit, maybe through your front hip, that right hip. Just breathe. One more big breath. And slowly come back. So we can do it on the other side. So I'm going to turn my head, face towards the left. Lift up that left heel and let it flop over. Now one side might be tighter than the other. For me, my left side is tight. I can't drop my uh, foot down quite as easily. There's more tension in my left hip. Totally normal. Not uncommon for one side to be tighter than the other. Two more big breaths. Good, and come back to center. From here, bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. We are going into either baby cobra or cobra, depending on what feels good for your back, or maybe even sphinx pose. So you're gonna press up. Stretching out those abdominals. We did a lot of core work today. I intentionally made today's class a little more core heavy because over the weekends we tend to sit a lot and not move. So I wanted to make sure we started our week out strong by strengthening our core. Good, go ahead and look over your right shoulder. Breathing. Again, remember, if coming all the way up doesn't feel right, maybe you wanna be here on your forearms or maybe you wanna go somewhere in between, totally fine. Good, and the other side. Looking over the left. Breathe for three, two, one. Awesome. We're going to go into a down dog and pedal out our calves. So, pike high into the air and drop one heel down and then the other doing a little bit of an active stretch on those calves. Nice. Now go ahead and keep your left heel reaching for the ground, your right heel up, it's getting a nice deep stretch through that left heel. Three more big breaths.
four. Beautiful. All right, we are going to go into pigeon pose. If pigeon is not accessible to you, you can roll over your back and do figure four. So let's bring that left foot in front. Your left foot may be at a nine, your left leg may be at a 90 degree angle, or maybe it's at like more of a 45, which is what mine is at. Now, if you need, if you find that you can't keep your hips square, and maybe you need a little support under your left knee, grab that pillow that you have close by, and go ahead and prop it under there for a little bit of support. Now, if staying up tall feels good to you, then stay here. If you want to drop down onto forearms, or even all the way down to head on the floor, you can. Do whatever feels right for you. We're going to be here for about 30 seconds, having a little extra time on those glutes and hips since we spend so much time seated. This can also be done from a standing position. You can put your leg on the bench, on the bed, on the couch, some elevated surface, cross it in front and lean forward. If getting to the floor is not as accessible for you. One more big breath, fully releasing. Good, walk your hands back. Let's switch to the other side. I'm gonna bring my right leg in front, square up my hips. I'm gonna work my way down. You go wherever feels right for you. Remember, you can always place that pillow underneath your booty if you need a little support.
as flat as you can to the ground. And you may need to shift around a little bit, seeing what feels good for you.
Just let your body be hanging here for a second. So we're dropping just straight down. Just allowing your body to kind of relax, head to hang heavy. But maybe sway side to side a little bit. Good. Now we're going to begin to walk our hands underneath. So we're actually going to be trying to go towards whatever is behind us. So at your own pace, start to walk your hands under. When you feel like you can't go any further, just stay there. Relax here. Getting a nice deep stretch through the hamstrings. Beautiful. Hang out here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Turn that right foot out and head over to the right. You're thinking about bringing your knee, your head as close to your knee as possible. Don't worry if you can't get there, but that's the goal. Breathe. We no longer should feel a stretch in the left. It should all be concentrated on the back side of our body, on the right, through the hamstring, maybe even into the calves if you have tight calves. Good, and walk your hands over to the other side. Breathe. Always breathing. It's one of the things people tend to forget about when stretching. They often hold their breath. We want those muscles to release. For four, three, two, one. Awesome. Come back to center now. All right. From center, we're going to come up slowly and form a big circle with our arms. So I'm going to go to the left first. I'm going to kind of slowly work my way over to the left. My arms, everything's going to come up and around and back down on the right. Nice big circles. We have four in each direction. You should feel your low back opening up as you do this. Then you'll feel a little stretch in the hamstrings. One more. And then we gotta go the other way. Awesome. And other direction. Opening up wide. Coming all the way down. You'll find that you actually are going to have some increased flexibility. You'll probably be able to get a little closer to the ground as you do these big circles. Because we're actually helping our joints go back into alignment after having been smashed into the wrong position all day long from our sitting. Last one. All the way down. Good. Heel to those feet in. Rolling up one vertebra at a time until you get to a standing position. From here, you're going to drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Good. Let it just hang there for a second. Now bring your left hand to simply set onto your head. Yeah, I'm not pulling, not engaging in any way, shape, or form. I'm just adding a little pressure. Good, release, and the other side. So first, just let it hang. I'm trying to bring right shoulder, nice and relaxed, right ear to right shoulder. Feel a stretch through the side of your neck. Good, bring that right hand to just be pressure on top of it. Two more breaths. One more breath. Awesome. So now, instead of going straight to the side, we're going to look down. Imagine we have a pocket right on our chest. We're going to look straight down to there and apply with our left hand. If I'm looking at my left chest, I'm going to apply that pressure. 
So now I'm not getting the side of my neck, but I'm getting more towards the back. And if you get tension headaches, this probably feels really good for you. And 